Although I have said random things like what the cabbage before in <laughs> back in Skyward Sword. At one point I was I was following a trend where I was trying to use expletives, but ones that I would make up so they weren't bad, like they didn't have a bad double meaning. Oh, hello. A rest floor. Cool. Let's get some sprays. I, I love the Spectre Lids so much because half the time, well, not even half the time, when you see them, you just get to go wild and throw Pikmin in every which way. It's so fun. And, I mean, they're butterflies, and butterflies are pretty. And they pose no harm. They are not even worth anything. Except for the sprays. The sprays are. Alright, so we got a bitter spray, which we used in the battle, so... We are at a... a what, do you, what is it called if it's not a net gain or a net loss? A net neutral, I think? Okay, but there are no treasures here. Just a way to get back some Pikmin. And there are going to be no harmful traps, because they don't... They don't do that. They don't do that on these floors. That would be mean, as well. They, they would never do that. So we have... 90 Pikmin, what do we need? I mean, we need purples and whites, but we need yellows the most, I think. And yellows are fine. They're, yellows are probably my favorite kind of Pikmin. So I'm fine with having more of them. Okay, so I'm changing... I'm actually going to change yellows into yellows. Change, change, change! Oh, okay. Whew. And I actually have a strategery here. There's nectar over there, but I would like to show this off. So Mamudas, when they pound Pikmin into the ground... Don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. There you go. I'm, I'm letting you do this. And one more. No, 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 don't, don't hurt him. Don't hurt, don't hurt him. There we go. Yeah, so... I, I got it. I got it, buddy. Thank you for your help. No... They're just gardeners at heart. They're they're funny enemies, and they're kind of cute. Like, they don't mean any harm. Alright, so we have... Oh, hello, hello, hello! Get over here, get over here, get over here. I need the sprays from this. Uh, throw... A bunch of them! I'm fine if... I'm, I'm perfectly fine if they get to play with the, ma the Mamudas. And... Sprays? Sprays. Oh, there's an wait, is that a new one? I think that's a new one. Maybe? Nope. Or I I don't know if that was a new one or not. Okay, you sir, I'm sorry. I, I you know what? I could have let him live. I did not have to do Oh, oh wait, wait, ooh, I, there's a glitch I want to show off. I forgot about this. This is a really fun glitch, too. So, you know how a Pikmin well, okay. You know how Pikmin can share multiple sources of nectar at the same time? Well, it actually carries over to captains as well. You can have captains both consume the same thing of nectar. So what you do, and it does count, and I don't even think it's a glitch. It feels intended to me. Well, it, it is intended, kind of. They just didn't expect people to do this. So what you can do... Also, how did I lose Pikmin? How did I... Oh, it's because I don't get, I don't get 10 from the thing. I didn't lose Pikmin. Okay. So if I can actually push Olimar into this this pool of nectar and then drink it myself so push him in and then I drink it as well and I get two things of nectar out of it now honestly I should have been abusing this for uh, a long time but I honestly forgot about it I'm not sure even if I discovered it myself or if I discovered it online but it's really useful and I whenever I see ultra bitter spray I should probably be using this Oh, really? Really? Alright, well, I, I didn't know that they could drop nectar, but I'll abuse it. Push him in, drink it myself, and then I'm probably going to go hunt down that other one, the the honey wisp, because there I think there was another one. Was there another one that I never killed? And they don't actually die, they, I just take away their the egg. I don't think there was another one. I think I, I got it over here yeah there was one over here but I, I cleared that out as well so yeah that's a it's a fun glitch it's really useful to be honest are there any more there is there are 
Nectar? Nope. Just, or yes, there's nectar, but no spray. All right. So I've, I've lollygagged enough. Are there any more? No. Cool. So I got four, five, six sprays out of this. I think six sprays out of this one cavern. Really useful technique. I don't want to call it a glitch because it, it really isn't. Oh, hello. Water. It, uh, why'd it have to be water? Whoa! Oh, this is bad. I'm manipulating my body. No! No, 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 no. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here. Are they gonna drown? No, they're not. No! Come here, come here. Oh, thank you, Pikmin, for taking care of that thing for me. Oh, this is bad. Okay, okay. I'm good. No. No. Oh, this is really bad. There. Okay. Okay, they're fine. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oy. Come on. Okay, can I bring them over here? As long as I don't whistle other Pikmin, I should be fine. I just have to be really careful. Come on, purple. Okay, I rescued one. Ah, uh, this is really dangerous. Why would they put a Wally Walk here? Okay. <sighs> wow. 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 I can't believe I didn't lose Pikmin there. Props to my, my squad for doing that. I'm really proud of them. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately proud of what I just did. Now, how do I get out of this predicament? Don't go in the water. I'm thinking blues. Uh, da, da. You're not going to do anything? Okay. So I'm thinking a lot of blues. A lot of blues taking care of the threats. Now, the easiest way to exit is this way going kind of a long route. Getting him to attack. Whoa, uh, killing him. Just kill him quickly. Uh, can you do it? Can you do it? No, he survived. Okay, so we'll kill him and just clear out the, clear out the immediate vicinity of every threat. And then we can, we can explore the rest of the area. Hopefully that wog pole won't try to climb up onto my stump. Dismiss them just in case I accidentally whistle the red. You, sir. Come here. Come here. I'm dancing with you right now. I'm, I'm literally holding meat in front of him, trying to get him to approach. Come on, buddy. I... I'm going to have to spray them both. Just for safety's sake, I don't want to have to deal with the wog pole or the uh, water dumple. All right, the immediate area is safe. Olimar, move them all into this this safe zone. Make sure there are traps. Are there traps? No traps. Whoa! Oh, neat. Net gain. Here we come. Get him right there, President. I, I demand a toast. A toast to camaraderie. Uh, no. I said a toast to licorice. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't really even feel... It's kind of, actually... You guys know my history with, with techniques or bugs like this. They're... They're cool. And I've used... I used one of these in Earthbound. There's a glitch in Earthbound where uh, there's a magic truffle, which is a, a mushroom that you can eat, and it restores pee, pee which is essentially mana. Also, why are, why are these guys... I'm t but buddy, there you go. Um, it's basically mana, and what I could do is, if I had a ketchup packet, so, so a condiment, in my inventory... In my inventory, uh, and I, I was in battle, and the magic truffle was in my last inventory slot, I could consume the magic truffle, and it would instead consume a ketchup packet, and uh, 
I, it would allow me to use the magic truffle indefinitely, and I abused that a lot in Earthbound. Mainly because Earthbound was a series I did for myself. I wasn't, I wasn't doing it by request. Okay, the best thing to do is not to whistle Pikmin with a Wallywog. Okay, come on, buddy. Come here. I don't need to bring you on to land, but I'll kill you here. Also, here's a solid question. How did they expect me to be able to get blue Pikmin out of this? Also, I believe this is the first time we're seeing a... Oh, what are, what are these even called? A Lapis Lazuli Candy Pop Bud? And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're Blue is historically and consistently my favorite color in life. Although, recently I've been leaning a bit more towards uh, white blue, which is a great color. More Lapis Lazuli Candy Pop Buds. Hey, buddy. But uh, I've used that glitch a lot in Earthbound. It was a good glitch. I've used a lot of things in Earthbound, honestly. Um, like I said, it was a series for myself, not for, not for you guys, I guess. Okay, there are no more enemies here. This is the only treasure, just Jif? Peanut butter? Or, oh, sorry, Skippy. Skippy peanut butter. But I'm perfectly fine with abusing that spray glitch, or the technique. It really doesn't feel like a glitch to me. Because, it, it it's one of those things that you know is true. Like, if... If you could think of a way to get both captains in like that, you would, and you wouldn't feel cheap about it. I don't feel cheap about it, because Pikmin normally do that, and captains should too. Nutrient silo, oh silo, okay. Nutrient silo. I, so I don't even feel bad about it. I've been rambling about this for minutes now, but I, just long story short, I do not feel bad about abusing that because it's good, and I've forgotten it up until this point, and I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of hyped about it honestly. <laughs> I'm excited that I can do that. Because I've been gaining so many... I, I think I have more sprays in this cavern now than when I began it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is here? What is here? What is here? I'm stressed, so I say things repeatedly. Oh! Why did you fall on your face? A ranging cloister? Why is that a thing? Oh no. Will this hurt it? No. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I despawned it. What just fell? Oh, boulder. Okay. Okay. This is cheap. This is really cheap. But I'm abusing it. Oh, wow. That is... I don't... This isn't even the final floor, is it? All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to defeat the cannon beetle larva first. And then I'll focus on the ranging blister. Using time skip! Need to be careful that my Pikmin aren't caught in the crossfire. No! Don't go to base! All right. Time skip. Enabled. Whoa! Boulders! Boulders! He's dead? Is that it? No, there's one more. Honestly, actually, I, did, I think I'm out of his sight radius, or her. I always called her Molly, so I think I'm out of Molly's sight radius to begin with, so I don't even need to do the technique. Okay, this boulder needs to go towards me. It won't even come out at all. All right. I'm feeling a lot better about this. Also, this is my chance at redemption. You guys remember, I I messed this up bad when whenever I, I fought the Ranging Bloister, whenever I fought Molly to begin with. I messed that up so badly because I had lost Olimar. And so I wasn't able to actually... Oh. I just thought of something. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. I wasn't able to actually properly do the fight, but I can now. But I'm choosing not to. I'll show you why. <sighs> Purples are dumb. Oh, here, wait. Yep, yep, come after me, come after me, come after me. No, 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 come after me. Come after me. This is so dumb! <laughs> okay, 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 I had my fun. I'll do the fight normally. That was dumb. I feel bad. <laughs> Purples are so stupid! Alright, it's your time to shine. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? 
I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to use purples. They're so cheap. They're so broken, too. Do I have... Yes. All blues. Alright, so now that I've done this, I've let her heal up a little bit, too. And now you can see how the fight's supposed to be done proper. You have two captains with multiple colors. Also, it's really cute. Um, I alternated the colors. And then I switch back. And then I defeat her that way. And she's dead. Now, did I cheat a little bit by, uh, by using purple Pikmin to just half-shot it? Yes, I, I was. I definitely was. You're right. I, I was cheating. Was it fun? Sadly, yes. All right. So we've did we done we have done that. And also, this cave, the Hole of Heroes, is quickly turning into my favorite cave thus far, by far, because there's just it, there's so many challenges. It feels like a a nice wrap up for this for the, the game, and maybe and possibly even the series in general. We're facing everything that we're supposed to, like. Every mechanic that we've seen thus far, captain switching, we're supposed to optimize here. Um, sea stick mechanics, oh man, we are definitely uh, supposed to be mastering sea stick mechanics in this this cave. With the the sand area, the sand vortex, uh, what do you call that? Sinkhole, I guess. With the sinkhole, you're supposed to definitely master sea stick, sea stick um, management there. And I, I really like how this, this cave is played out. We're not even on the final floor. And I haven't even really done a wrap-up of a cave ever. But this is one that I feel like I should because it's it's so enjoyable. It's, it's stressful, yes, but it's a good kind of stressful. And it makes me genuinely excited to see what they're going to throw me into next. ba da 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 A stone talus? I have dealt with them before, and this time, I am not a coward. And I can- I know how to deal with these things. There we go! Whoa! Got knocked off. Alright, but he's- Oh, no. So, the Empress Bulblax has an attack that we've never seen before, until now. And honestly, I didn't think we would be seeing it. 